What's up guys? Kevin here from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. With a great lesson here today, a little horse with no name. A great two chord song, perfect if you're a beginner. This is one of the first songs I usually teach my beginner students. Uh, you can check out the membership option in the pinned comment below for Relax on Guitar if you wanna learn more. And this is a good one because you have just the two chords. It helps you learn chord switching. There's also gonna be, it's kind of a step-by-step. -step. So this is a beginner level lesson. I'm gonna show you the two chords you need to know using just two fingers for each chord. I'm gonna show you a beginner level strum pattern and then we're gonna work our way up to a more advanced one. And then I'll do a playthrough so you can play along and uh, learn the song that way as well. So let's get started. You're gonna to need to know two chords for this and the cool thing is you're only gonna be using two fingers for each chord. So the first chord is an E minor. To play that E minor chord, you're gonna have your index here on the fifth string second fret and your middle finger is going to fret the fourth string second fret and you play all six strings that's an E minor chord and the second chord is a D6 slash 9 it's a real mouthful but it's still a pretty easy chord to play so you're going to still just be using two fingers here but you're going to move that index finger up one string to the thickest fattest string that's the sixth string the E string I'm going to fret that sixth string on the second fret. You're going to move your middle finger down a string to the third string and fret that on the second fret. And again, play all six strings. Because that one's a mouthful, the rest of this lesson, I'm just going to call it the D6 chord instead of D6 slash nine. But you know what I mean. So you have E minor and a D6. If you like this lesson, you'll probably like more of my lessons, and we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Relax and Learn Guitar YouTube channel here, come back often for lessons and live streams. We work hard to bring lessons each week to help you relax and learn guitar, and subscribing would help us keep doing that. Thanks. Get really good at just practicing those two chords, and making sure they're fretted clean, and then switching between them because literally this entire song is moving between those two chords. Where I see people struggle the most is just changing that chord. So if you just kind of visualize that change from E minor to D6, and just knowing that you're changing that shape and moving that index finger up and that middle finger down, that might help you with that chord change. And if you want to learn seven more songs just using four chords, so working our way up to that a little bit, stick around. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this lesson. Okay, the first strum pattern that we're going to use is just standard down strums. One, two, three, four. There's a quarter notes because there's four of them. I fret that E minor chord and strum down on all six strings. And we're going to do quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One two, three, four. You're gonna to switch to that D6 chord. And again, the strum pattern is gonna be four down strums. One, two, three, four. And I always tell all my members, do it correctly first and quickly later. Speed will come with time. So slow it down if you need to. So it's gonna sound something like this if you use that strum pattern for the entire song. And that's where I suggest you start if you are a beginner level guitarist. So you have, on the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. It sounds good all the way through the entire song. Now, the next strum pattern, we're going to just add in one up strum to that pattern. And you might be thinking, big deal, what's that going to do? It actually changes it a lot. So we're going to play this strum pattern instead of the four down strums. We're going to go down, 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 up, down. Down, 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 up, down. And each chord just gets one of those strum patterns. So you're just switching back and forth from that E minor to that D6, 
with the down, 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 a down, 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 a down. So I'm going to, uh, I'll slow it down just a little bit. I'm gonna play through the first verse and the chorus. So grab your guitar, make sure you're tuned up. You got those E minors and D6s ready to go under those fingertips. We're gonna play this one together. So here we go. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills and rings. The first thing I met was a fly with a buzz and the sky with no clouds. The heat was hot and the ground was dry, but the air was full of sound. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can remember your name, cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain. La 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 A great one to learn. I really encourage you to stick with it. If you've never thought I can play a whole song all the way through, that's never gonna happen. This is a great one to start with. And like I said, if you want to learn seven more songs, which sounds like it's a crazy amount, right? Serious, you can do seven songs using just four chords. Check out this lesson where I show you how to exactly do that and add those to your set list. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Remember, you're never too old to learn.